And good day, Folsom. I'm Dina Kupfer. We are here with Dr. Danielle Tarter, and she is a dermatologist with the UC Davis Medical Center. And I've got to tell you, Skin Cancer Awareness Month is this month. It's very important to get your body checked, your molds checked, and this is something I actually do every six months because I'm pretty moly. Uh, but as Dr. Tarter will tell us, it's important for everyone, too. So, okay, I'm going to relieve you of your duties momentarily, Doctor. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you, Dina, so much for being here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you. It's so important that you're raising awareness about this issue. Uh, as you know, Mel or March, May is Melanoma Awareness Month, yeah. uh, and this is just our chance to get knowledge out there to make sure patients know that it's so important to come in, see a board-certified dermatologist, make sure that we check your moles, and make sure everything's okay. And melanoma is something that every skin type, every type of body can develop, even if you don't have something that looks maybe, um, it could potentially be dangerous in the beginning of your life, that can change throughout the years. Yeah, absolutely. Skin cancer does not discriminate. Yeah. Uh, we know there are risk factors. We know that certain people are more likely to develop skin cancer uh, based on genetics, family history, uh, their exposures over their lifetime, but absolutely, everybody should come in and get checked. Yes. And finally, what's the best way to prevent before you start looking at my own body? <laughs> so many ways to prevent. Uh, first of all, just protecting from the sun. Yeah. We know that UV exposure uh, is the number one risk factor for developing skin cancer. Uh, melanoma in particular is what we're worried about. Uh, so wearing protective clothing, long sleeve shirts, hats, sunglasses, those are the easy things. Yeah. Uh, we always say sunscreen is important too. Uh, we do want something that blocks UVA and UVB. Okay. Uh, we say SPF 30 or higher. Okay. Um, we tend to like the physical blockers, things like zinc oxide, titanium dioxide. Okay. They're not absorbed into the blood. They block broad spectrum UVA and UVB. Uh, but just because you apply in the morning doesn't mean that you're covered throughout the day. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to be out in intense sunlight, every two to four hours you do want to reapply. Okay, great information. Okay, so I know that I have a lot of moles on my back, so I'm actually going to have you go through some of the spots with me. Photographer Scott, I'm giving you permission to come around so you can actually see what she's going to be looking for. Sure. And I want you to use, what's the, what's the device? The dermatoscope. Dermatoscope. This is why I'm not in this business, but she is. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and start your exam. So I'd, I'd like to tell you first just what I'm looking for, okay. uh, just so viewers at home would know what to look for on themselves and their loved ones uh, and what they should be thinking about should bring them in so that we could take a look. Okay. Uh, so first of all, if you have a lot of moles, you're someone that we would want to see anyway. Yeah. Uh, if you have a family history of skin cancer, that would be a great reason to come in. Okay. Uh, history of blistering sunburns. Okay. Uh, we know that one blistering sunburn in your lifetime can increase your risk of melanoma by 50%. Oh, wow. uh, over five blistering sunburns can increase your risk of melanoma by 80%. Okay. Wow. Uh, any history of tanning bed use, those would all be good reasons to come see us. Okay. Uh, and then in terms of what we can look for. I'd like to use this chart with you if that's okay. okay. So things that we're looking for, we call it the ABCDEs yep. to make it easy. Yep. Uh, but melanomas will have some asymmetry, whereas a normal mole normally has symmetric borders. Melanoma can have uneven borders, uneven color, uh, can grow and change with time. Yep. This E, the evolution, is often the most important. Okay. Uh, as in if you notice a mole that's changing over time. Okay, so we have to hurry this up because I know I'm getting the wrap, but okay. I just want everyone at home to see how easy and painless this can be. Yeah. So what exactly are you doing back there? So I am looking uh, at your moles, and what I'm appreciating is that they have nice, even borders, okay. nice, even pigment pattern within. Uh, and that you have a particular mole signature. They all sort of look like each other okay. without anything that stands out pigment-wise. Okay. And just making sure that nothing seems abnormal today. And also, just a reminder before I send it back to you, if you have birthmarks, that's something you should also get mm -hmm. checked. I have a little birthmark here on my toe. Don't mind the non-pain in toes, but yeah, stuff like that is something that the dermatologist wants to see. So she's going to have you get completely undressed, bear it all, because you're protecting your skin. All right, I got to get going. Thank you so okay. much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you so much. All right, so, back to you. Such important information for all of us. Good reminder, too, to get all of that checked.